we can't expect to be ha to have a well-rounded uh, student from you know five ten years in a in a school or a university, and then we do nothing else throughout that whole period in order for that for us to develop this person. Mm. One, two, we can't mix um, the the you know life skills with educational abilities. Two different things. Life skills are gained from life experiences. You said something really nicely earlier. You said they're not taught how to speak to a, a person in the council. They're not taught how to write up a form, correct? That's not the school's job though. The school's job Says is who? to tell you. Says who though? No, but it can be the school's job. But who said it, it shouldn't be? Why should it be though? Who Why said it, it should be? But Bro, they at the end of the day, in a way. I don't get it. Like, there's, yeah, Habibi, there's your, only your so children, many hours. Hold on, they teach you how to write, they, how to communicate, they, well, to have second, better grammar, perfect grammar. Exactly, and, like and it's that. up brother, to you then to I do it. So you that. Apply that. Can I say so something far. to you? A child spends most of the day in school, yes or no? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So actually what we have with them is more limited time. So I should have the expectation that, you know what, where I'm sending my son, who's spending most of his day, is somewhere that's teaching him everything that he needs no, to really. be a good person, to be a better person, and to move forward with his no, life. He, Why he's not? got, he's got high not? ambition. This is good. Yeah, this good. is good. But Sayyidna, Sayyidna, I go back and say, not everyone Especially has the capability of doing that. Especially if I'm sending you to a private that. school and it costs money. <laughs> the, the, high, the, most, the highest cost in this is time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The you highest cost in everything is time. Time is the most valuable. But the highest that's cost it. in that's this it. specific topic that we're discussing right now, it is time. You can't tell me that you're willing to do it, as you mentioned, nine to five job, yeah? And maybe some, some other uh, guy's partners, they might be working as well. She's doing probably a nine to five as well. And the kid is finishing school at a particular Say it, but time. you need to make a decision. It's difficult. You need to make a decision. It's difficult, say because it, I this, understand. In this, in this capitalistic society we're living in, either you're both working, maybe you get rich, but let's be honest, the kids turn out messed, mm. or one of you works, don't make it your end goal to get rich, one of you stays at home and really helps the children But why can't you strive after. for all of them whilst your kid is getting academic Because Habibi, knowledge. you can't hold five apples in one hand. Something's going to fall. Okay. And God forbid, it's your child who but falls. But then you're expecting, be... you're, you're expecting the general public to just stop going to... You're, you're saying in an ideal world that um, it should be practical that people um, you know, spend lots of time with their kids to teach them everything. What am I saying right now? Well, I don't know, but you're going really Cut far into that. <laughs> Bring it back, bro. Bring Say it back. you need to organize your life. You yeah. need to prioritize as, yeah. as, 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 as a parent. At the end of the day, on the weekend, I can go out in the evenings and smoke shisha with the boys. Or I can sit at home and put my son to bed and read him a bedtime story. That's one right. of the prophet stories from the Quran. What is, what's this, this going to teach them, bro? What, what is this going to teach you? Bro, my relationship with them is going to be closer. Number one, yeah, right, yeah, teaching him about the prophet. If I'm uh -huh. going to be reading yes. him a, a, yes. a bedtime story about the prophet, yes, you think the prophet's stories don't have so, any but meaning? But why to are them? you doing that? Why do why don't you expect the school to do that as well? Because you just said you want them to do everything. Because bro, the school is. I know I don't say that, but for the six or eight hours in the day that they're there, they have to do everything in their power for the children in the school. But that's what they do. And they, when they, come they do out, everything in their power to teach them the specific subjects. No, Ali, I think no, you have no, to make no, a sacrifice no, as a parent when you decide bro, to have children. Capable, I no, 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 hold on. No. But if you if you decide to become a parent, you make is, is, is a social sacrifice from your own life, financial sacrifice you have to. from your own life. These are the sacrifices. You have to. No, no, but hold on. No way do you have to sacrifice. You have to. Your children's futures. No, it's not their because, futures. Uh, no, 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 hold on, Ali. No, no, first of all, the way I see it is that you're trying to. I, that's why I disagree with you in the point where you said in the beginning, I want to send my child to a private Islamic school. Not everyone can afford you. Know not just that, that not just that, not just that. I'm feeling that you're trying to run away from what your priorities are. This is, this is, this is your role as a parent. You have to teach him religion. It's not the school's. Whoa, it's not the one. school's. But I didn't say. Hold on, no, no. Time let out, time out, time out, time out. No, just you one second. No, I want, I want no, let me, let me no, finish. Let me 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 finish. It's your responsibility as a parent. Now, if I send my child to a private Islamic school, which not everyone can afford, yes. yeah, I send him there, and they see another Muslim brother from the same faith, from the same madhab, doing something that is not allowed. That is haram. He's going to come back home, he's going to do the same thing. Happen. I'm going to have to now teach him that not everything you see at this Islamic school is actually correct. 
Some of them might be doing something that is wrong. I'm going to confuse him now. I'm going to confuse him now. However, 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 if I send him, let me finish. Sally, let me finish. If I send him to a non-Islamic school, he's going to go there. He's going to learn what's out there in the world. One day he's going to grow up, he's going to so work. So somebody does something un-Islamic, what are you going to say to I'm going to tell oh, him. Normal, that's no, 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 I'm not going to tell him. No, 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 no. hold on. Say? I'm not going to say that. I'm going to tell him, my son or my daughter, this is what non-Muslims do. We are Muslims. We have different rules that so we you abide by. there are no other Muslims what in you that school. Let me finish. I'm going to do something different. Ali, let me finish. What you see at home is what we are expecting from you. <coughs> it's my role as a parent to teach them about the prophets, about the imams, about the akhlaq, about how to eat, about how to behave and to interact and with Islam other kids, is what Islam teaches us. Yeah. I have to sacrifice from my time. There's no more shisha going out with the friends Can or I buddies on the weekend. That's kind of what the, you're saying the though, first thing that I said was what? What did you they say? They have to be shared values between the home, the Husseiniya, for example, uh -huh. and the school. You exactly. remember? When I say the home, what does that mean? That means I'm teaching them in a specific way. When I send them to school, it's very similar to what they're being taught at home. When I take them, I said when I take them to the Husseiniya. No, 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 no. no. I at don't, no point did I say I want to I know, but I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't have to send, send them. To them. School. Hold on, I don't have to send them to the same school where they teach Brother, them. Let me give you from my experiences. I was a teacher in a Saturday school, right? I was a teacher in a Saturday school, and, I, and on a Saturday school, one day I went into the bathrooms to tell some of the kids to hurry up and go do their wudu so they can pray. When I went there, and these kids, they go to an uh, English school from, uh, they go to a, a state school, I beg your pardon, uh, from Monday to Friday. I realized that they were, I beg your pardon, standing and peeing on the urinals, using the urinals. Where do you think they taught that? They, got the, they, they, they learned that. They learned that because they see something normal in their schools in, 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 from, uh, from Monday to Friday, right? That was a huge shock to me, to be honest with you. Let me tell you another experience. I went to a Church of England school, primary school, and then secondary school, I went to an Islamic school. I went to an Islamic school, a Sadiq boys school, okay? And I can give you from my own experiences, because it's not some theory that I've made up and come here today. That three years that I spent really, really helped me. Because... Something really nice, when we had our Islamic studies class and they would give us some things and I would go home and I'd tell mom, look, this is what I learned today. This, and then we had some really, really nice conversations, you know what I mean? When she tells me, she teaches me this surah, when I go to Quran class and the teacher says, who's learned a new surah? I've learned this surah. Nice. You know what I'm saying? When they call for the adhan in the school, it's like when my dad calls for the adhan at home. Does that make sense? Right? When we're eating in our school and they teach you take this with the right hand, do this with the blah, blah, blah. It's the same thing that I'm learning at home. So there was a lot of shared values. There was a lot of things that helped me grow and help my uh, religion to be solidified in my heart because I saw this is at home, this is at school. And after school, when Muharram happens, I'm going with my dad to the Husseini as well. These things all help, say, all I together. Want, I want your advice on something. Let's say I have a child. Inshallah. Inshallah. I can't afford to take them to a private Islamic school. Okay. Yes. The, my only option is to either, my, I've got two options. Either I sit them at home and t don't take them to school, or I take them to a state school. What do I do in this instance? You take them to a state school, no doubt, if you can't sit them at home, uh, do like a school, uh, homeschooling, and you can't send them to an Islamic school, but you need to sacrifice something. What do you sacrifice? Your personal life, your personal time. You need to spend more time with the child. That means if you only had breakfast with them, make sure you have breakfast with them and dinner with them. Okay, that's if, my. If if I if if, that. if 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 on the weekends you want to go out with the boys to play football, you remove that hour of your day. You take your kids to the jungle gym and you jump around with them. Okay. If it's the exercise you need, you'll get the exercise. <laughs> and at the same time, they'll keep you sweet. They'll keep you. Where's the jungle gym? Give me the dress. Uh, I will actually. I'm going to one uh, today. It's cool. Talk right, to so you basically, me. what I've captured. Uh, do you understand what I'm saying, Sayed, or not? Really? I understand. Okay. So now we are, we are agreeing that there is an option. So you you can take the the your kids to a state school as long as you're doing what of you just said. Of course you can, yeah? Sayed. Okay. Again, they, we all went to so state what does at one the point. Islamic school? So does the Islamic school teach the same academic? Content as uh, as uh, the same academic content yes. as the state school. Yes, these are all regulated by Ofcom. Of course, they do. So, how is the educational system flawed? Say no. How is the educational system flawed? We go back to the original. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to understand. The educational system is not flawed. It's just that this country teaches children has a specific syllabus in each and every academic year, 
and each and every academic stage for a child or for an adult or for a young adult, um, and they just teach it. The rest okay, of the skills, they're, they're, they're Islamic, teaching, they're Islamic teaching, they're related, teaching six-year-olds sexual Islamic reproduction. Related, is Islamic, that flawed or not? Sorry, they're teaching six-year-olds now in, in primary school about sexual education. Is that flawed or not? Okay, if you're speaking from this perspective, no, no, that's it, different. Answer the question. We're talking about is it flawed or not? Say it, say it, say it. Is that flawed say it, or not? Say it. Say it. Say it. We want to have. Let's have a common ground right now. Yeah, all between all four of us. We are agreeing that knowledge is key, right? Yes. No, it's not. Of course, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say it for you. <laughs> we are agreeing that knowledge is key. We are agreeing that we should always strive for knowledge in, yeah. in whatever means we can. We should always strive. Reach for, for your highest potential. How we get it is dependent on our personal capabilities, whether it's financial capabilities, whether it's time, whether it's A personal functional family. personal capabilities. Exactly. Yeah, personal circumstances, sorry. So this is, how you get it is different. Now, in terms of the system itself, we don't want people to be discouraged from taking people to state schools. And we don't want to encourage people to, from, uh, discourage people from going to Islamic schools. We want to encourage them to get knowledge. And we are agreeing that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala, uh, and the Imam Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam have always pushed us towards gaining knowledge. How we get it? is again personal it's a personal and a subjective thing um but we can't go back and say that these tested and tried um, um syllabuses and if that's even the right word um and uh, different <laughs> different types of structures that have been set over and over and over and over the years we can't say that they're no good we can't say that and we no but we can criticize we them we can't say that every and we can't we can think, criticize them say we can't think no i'm not saying we can criticize anything yeah. There you go. Saying, we can't think that we can't think that um, the only way should be going to an Islamic school. I can't afford it. My parents couldn't. No afford one's it. saying it's the only way. Saying. Is that is that wrong? I didn't come out to be uh, a prophet, but I didn't come out to be a crackhead. Yeah. Yeah. With all due respect we, to everyone. Sorry, say, we don't have With to... With all due respect to crackheads. Say, <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't have to be very awful protective of our children either. I mean, you say a six-year-old has been taught about sex education. Is that very bad? That's so wrong. It wasn't like that five, ten years ago, but it is now because People in, in society in we're way, living yeah. in now, they are seeing these pictures, they are seeing these images, whether we like it or not, Sayyid. Your child, Sayyid, even, uh, if it comes, Ali, can't, even if he comes out from an Islamic school, I can't hold on, that. even if that you it, think it's not a problem, no, 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 no. To be let me, let me explain. I, I'm not saying it's not a problem. I'm not saying it's not a problem. I'm saying either way, he is going to come across these images or these subjects, whether he's being taught about it or not at school. The child is going to see them. Just look at all the children cartoons and the movies. Yeah. You can't hide it. We can't be overprotective. Imam Ali salam salam Allah Ali says, I, if, if, I'm not, if I'm correct, Imam Ali says this, don't raise your child the way you were raised. Yeah. Amir al-Mu'mini says this. Because you were raised in a different period of time. Your child is now growing up in a complete different yes. uh, environment. Different so time. should we teach them about sexual I'm not saying that. No, no, say it. No, no, say so it. What, what's on. the difference? What I'm trying to say is, is that even if they go to a state school, if they are being taught there, it doesn't mean what they are being taught there is completely wrong and we have I to protect them. Wrong. Hold on. And we have to put them in an Islamic school to be very overprotective about our children. Either way. <laughs> yes. No, I'm with you. No, sorry. I'm, no, 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 no. I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing with you. But I think initially <laughs> we were supposed to talk, encourage people about to, to, to be educated. Oh. Right? Listen, I have no idea what the whole subject is. Wallah, honestly, Round what you just off. said is great. Round and Sayyid Ali, by the way. Bro, but I can't accept it. I'm sorry. Some of the very, things very that you're saying, I cannot yeah, accept them. Wrong, and, yeah. I, and I'll tell you something but why. And I'll tell you why. Because people to go we, want, we want the next generation to be the generation that are the Ansar of Imam al-Hujjah alayhi salam. The more and more we, we accept some of these things that are being uh, um, introduced to us from, these, uh, from this Western society, the more and more our religion is being diluted, our morals are being diluted, our ethics are being diluted. How are they being diluted? Sorry, at this point. And in, 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 in 100 years time, in, 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 in 150 years time, no, 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 no. it's not going to be the agree same with as it you. was. How, 100%. How is our hur, 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 he was fighting, he was fighting Imam Hussein, right? Imam Hussein alayhi salam. 
He came with the army of Umar ibn Sa'd. At the last minute, he converted and he became he a shaheed. Darkness altogether he became he a shaheed. We can't say, we can't say that because of the current school education uh, system, our children will not become of the Ansar. I said it in the beginning that we're swimming against a it wave. Is, it is our responsibility. Unless you realize, we are, our I'm realizing, wave is, unless we all wake up it is our responsibility as a parent. Do. It's going to be it's very, 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 it is very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. And nobody told you it's easy to have children for the Muslims in the West. And nobody told you it's easy to become a parent. No, I know. I've How told you, say that. Do we know that have been tried their best to plant seeds and plant seeds and plant seeds? But at the end of the day, when the tree How comes many, out, it comes out like that. How many people at the end do they say, it? You, Habib? You need no. to understand this because you're going to have life, kids in life the future. Is just, life. You're swimming it's against a test. the yeah, wave. What, it's a test, Why? Why are we making life so difficult? No, no, it's not about making life so difficult. So do everything in your power. Yeah. To stop these things happening, don't stop be that, that exactly. attitude that stop like, what? yeah, this stop is what life we're talking and about this here. is what's going on and you know, Basically, yeah. what are we talking about here? We started with education, and now I think to... if I just say that it's up to the parents to really know their child, whatever age they are, you have to understand your child, okay? Because when there comes to a point where they think they know their child, but their child turns out to be someone completely different, and that's the responsibility on the child to go ahead and understand. Take the time, reflect, deal with them in various um, environments and really understand them. And because at the last minute, for example, when it, I know this is not um, education, but when I was about to get married, they, people brought over from other countries to uh, their daughter to have, you know, to uh, sit down with me, to talk to me, to get to know one another. They really wanted me to become their, you know, um, son-in-law. But the daughter was not who we were all expecting to be. And that's the parents' fault. Because they didn't know their daughter. They bought her a ticket, brought her over. She lives with you. She's one door down from uh, where you sleep. But you don't know what she wants because she came and said, look, I don't want to marry you. And it hurt my heart. No, I'm just joking. But good riddance, actually. Um, you need to understand child. your child. Whatever institution you send them to, state school, private school, if you don't understand your child, they can go astray very easily. And I'm done because there's no more tea in here. So you guys keep going <laughs> if you want.